Wayne Jones against uh, James Wade coming next. Uh, Wade, the uh, finalist of 12 months ago, goes by the nickname 009 after getting so many uh, nine darters away from the TV screens. Uh, can he get one like Taylor did on the Blackpool stage? He's talking to Helen. Hi James, how are you? Not too bad, yourself? Yeah, I'm very well, thanks for asking. Good, good, good. Um, now, of course, coming into this tournament this year, any time your name is mentioned, it's going to be preceded by last year's runner-up, James Wade. A little bit of pressure on you? None at all. Oh. Um, if anything, it's the only ta TV tournament where I've turned up and actually done what I can do. Um, so do you not feel a little bit worried that this year all eyes are going to be upon you to do the same? No, no. It's a bit of relief, actually, because I know... I know I've done in this tournament what I can do, or nearly what I can do. Um, all I've got to do is just go up there and enjoy it. OK. Um, your opponent today. Yep. How many times have you guys played? I don't know. There's only one game I remember, but I'm going to try and get my own back for that one. OK. Now, it is Wayne's debut, and it was your debut last year. Yep. What advice would you give him? None. <laughs> Because you don't want him to get to the final. No, obviously not. Of course I don't. Okay. All right. Well, He's a very nice man, but hopefully I'll win. He is. We all like Wayne, but uh, yep. good luck in your game. Thank I hope you very much. One. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Pretty chilled out, isn't he, uh, James Wade? Giving up his job as a mechanic to concentrate on his darts these days. Uh, let's get this match on then with our MC, John McDonald. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the action here in Blackpool. It's the Stan James World Match Play. Brought to you by the PDC and live on Sky Sports. And time to meet our players. Would you please welcome from Wolverhampton, it's Woody Wayne Jones. And from Aldershot, the former finalist, it's James Wayne. Jones making his uh, Blackpool debut, world semi-finalist 18 months ago. He's a, a dad, a house husband as well. Uh, four daughters he's got back at home. I'm sure we'll be uh, cheering him on today. Uh, James Wade lost first round in Vegas to Colin Osborne. Says he's been practicing hard ever since. Uh, your commentators, Dave Lanning and Nigel Pearson. Thanks, Dave. Yes, James Wade against Wayne Jones then, and uh, Wade a tremendous achievement in reaching the final here of the Stan James World match play last year went down 18-11 to Phil Taylor but uh, it's a measure of uh, the progress that this man has made James Wade and highly regarded as a man who's got a bright future ahead of him just 24 years of age and it's all there in front of him Dave yes he's an interesting talent and it looks terribly laid back his interview with our colleague Helen He's a very bookish, looks like a student of biology. This, though, is Wayne Jones, and uh, he's a dangerous opponent, can play a bit, gets on with the game, goes at a fair old pace from your part of the world there, uh, Nigel Wolverhampton. Hey, Wolverhampton, he's on the track here, and uh, he could be a dangerous outsider, could make a blindside run. A lot on James Wade's plate early here at Blackpool in 2007. Yeah, absolutely, uh, making his debut and a nice little line from uh, Wade in the interview and the build-up to the game so saying no advice for Wayne Jones. Leg, James that also is a right measure first. of respect for his Game opponent, on. although it was all light-hearted, of course. And James Wade about to open this game, the third of the afternoon session here in the Winter Gardens in Blackpool. And don't forget tonight, Barnevelt is on stage this evening. We're underway then with game number three in the first round of this 96. world match play on day number three here in Blackpool. For any newcomers to our viewing, it's the best of 19 legs, so first to 10, although if it gets into a 9 all situation, we go Whoa. into a tie break. Must win by two clear leads. This is James Wade. That is the treble 20. He's aiming a 28, uh, 22 gram unicorn dart. At it and he's finding the trebles very early on. 135. James Wade got through to the last 16 of the World Championship. His uh, 
first attempt, of course, which was a, a pretty good effort from him. And look at this from Jones. 109! Magnificent from Wayne Jones. First maximum of the match. And uh, laying a marker down against this man. 95. Once again, very healthy crowd. Remember, this is a Tuesday afternoon in Blackpool where the weather is bracing rather than balmy. But uh, it is always tropical within the winter gardens where the temperature of the darts is sizzling. And this is James Wade, one of the top left-handed throwers in the game. We all notice Nigel, but of course, 83. Billy the Kid was a left-hand gun. 36. Good point, Dave, and here is Jones then. Won't check out this time. That will give Wade the opportunity. Yeah. Can Wade one, go one ahead with the throw? Treble 17, double eight. Now bullseye for Wade to go 1 0 ahead. James Magnificent Shaw start from James there. Wade. And James what a start to the match with Jones hitting Second the first eight, 180. Wade. On. Check out there. 1 0 ahead. Yes, and that's an interesting statement of intent from Wade that uh, he was a semi uh, runner-up last year, semi-finals, of course, as well. Last year he beat Dennis Ovens, he beat Kevin Patrick, Chris Mason and Roland Shelton, so he collected some notable sculpts on his way to the final against uh, Phil Taylor, where he gave Taylor a little bit of the shakes early on. And it looks like, once again, 102. James Wade plans to do a whole lot of shaking. Several players making their debut in Blackpool, this man included, of course, Wayne Jones. But plenty of others also making their uh, Blackpool debut. Barnevelt King, of course, who we saw beat uh, Colin Lloyd last night. Adrian Gray, Michael Van Gerwen, all making their first appearance in the World Match Play this year. That's because Barnevelt was scheduled to make it his first appearance here some years ago, Nigel, and he arrived late and wasn't allowed to play. Whisper that. 16. But it's hard to imagine Barney, who's, who's been such a feature of the PDC programme in the last 18 months, is actually making his Blackpool bow. 60. He's first up tonight, uh, Raymond Van Barnevelt against Dennis Evans from seven o'clock tonight. Join us for that. And then we move into the second round. Wayne Mardlin, Roland Shelton, and Terry Jenkins and John Parr all coming 40. up this evening. The winner of this game will face Dennis Priestley. And neither will be relishing that thought. Priestley, as always, the veteran. Dangerous man, difficult to overcome. 89. Well, although, although Wayne Jones is making his debut here, of course, he, he is an experienced practitioner. He's been around uh, the boards. Now then, treble 20, double 15, 80. and it wasn't far away. Why you require 120 Jones now to try and make it one apiece, and there's a bit of pressure on him here because he can see that Wade has got that chance next time. It's a good start. Treble 11 now go for bullseye for Jones to go one apiece. Oh, so close. And now James Wade, Dave, looking to go 2-0 up, and that would put him in a handy position early on. Yes, an opening riposte that he'll be happy about. No, he won't be too happy about that. Three, maybe. No, seven for 2-0. Oh, that's the double. And he's missed it again. Wayne, you require 25. So, Wayne Jones to level it up. No score. Oh. Well, that is a bad, bad mistake. And that now, surely this time. Four. Well, it, it's <laughs> it really is gangrenous luck for Jones. But it, it has to be said, with all the big number to shoot at, he shouldn't have been anywhere close to the vicinity of the treble. But uh, will Wade be in the vicinity of double two? Yes, he Maybe will. Picks it off. Two up to the man from all the shots.